dive into movies and TV series where we make vocabulary, idioms, and grammar unforgettable in minutes. Ready to unlock the cinematic secrets of English? Welcome to Crow English. Valdez and her new husband, Charlie Gilbert. So you think it's romantic, marrying a complete stranger? Uh, impulsive, without a plan. If you describe someone as impulsive, you mean that they do things suddenly, without thinking about them carefully first. Don't be so impulsive. Think before you act. But hey, look where my plans got me. <laughs> so you just threw caution to the wind and thought... Throw caution to the wind is an idiom that means to act without considering the risks or consequences. It implies taking a bold or reckless action, often disregarding potential negative outcomes. Jane threw caution to the wind by impulsively quitting her job and traveling around the world. I didn't think, actually. It was a moment. You're banking a lifetime on a moment? No, I'm banking a moment on a moment. This sentence means that they're not being reckless. Instead, they're making one good moment even better by adding another good moment to it. Get enough of those, and that's a lifetime. You know nothing about each other. Did you think twice, Charlie? People meet randomly all the time. At a... When something happens randomly, it occurs by chance or without any predictable sequence. She often made impulsive decisions, randomly choosing what to do without much thought. At a bar or... Online? Yeah, online at 7-Eleven. <laughs> uh, I mean, why is this any crazier? To state the obvious, you got married. State the obvious is an idiomatic expression. That means to say something that is already clearly understood or evident to everyone involved. It's often used to sarcastically point out when someone is saying something that is unnecessary or redundant because it's already widely known or easily inferred from the situation. Yeah, and... Now we get to know each other. But not as man and wife? But no, that would be nuts. <laughs> that would be nuts is an idiom used to express disbelief or incredulity about a situation. It's often used to suggest that something would be surprising, crazy, or unbelievable if it were to happen. Nuts can be an adjective that means crazy, foolish, or strange. Just for her. For me, it would be pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Historically, marriage was transactional. Transaction is a piece of business that changes the finances of a company, for example, an act of buying or selling something. And then, transactional, is relating to buying and selling. Starting a new business without a solid financial plan, that would be nuts in a transactional market like ours. It's about expanding your empire. And a woman's value was based on what she brought. Like, you give me a heifer and I'll give you my daughter. Heifer is a young cow that has not yet given birth to a calf. The cowboy tried to trip up the heifer, but she skillfully dodged his attempt. It's terrible, I know. That's... I didn't come up with it, but it really was a business deal and it wasn't designed to be about love and maybe that's where people kind of get tripped up now. This
If someone or something trips a person up, or if they trip up, they fail or make a mistake. In this context, trip is used as a verb, means to lose your balance after knocking your foot against something when you are walking or running. The complexity of the transactional process can trip up even the most experienced professionals. This is your second marriage, right, Charlie? You wouldn't want to fail again. Well, you haven't lived unless you fail, Bill. You should know that from your time at CNBC. <laughs> Listen, what we did was crazy. We know that. But it was just truly a leap of faith. A leap of faith is an idiom, typically refers to making a decision or taking action without having complete evidence or certainty about the outcome. It's about trusting in something beyond what can be immediately proven or known. It took a big leap of faith to decide to quit my job and try something new. The rules as they exist pretty much suck for women. I mean, why do we have to wait for men to propose? Why is everything on his terms? Now, I think it is time to shake things up. Shake something up. This phrase refers to causing significant changes or disruptions to something, such as an organization, a system, or a routine, often to improve it or make it more dynamic. Shake someone up. It means to shock or unsettle someone typically as a result of a surprising or unpleasant experience. For instance, witnessing a car accident might shake someone up, leaving them feeling anxious or disturbed. Shake up can also be used as a noun. It refers to a large change in the way something is organized. Shareholders are preparing to shake things up in the boardrooms. I think she was pretty shaken up by the accident. The arrival of the new baby caused a thorough shake-up of their family life. How about this? We pick the guy, we keep our name, and let him earn the right to stay. Kat Valdez and her new husband, Charlie Gilbert. So you think it's romantic, marrying a complete stranger? Uh, impulsive, without a plan. But hey, look where my plans got me. <laughs> so you just threw caution to the wind and thought... I didn't think, actually. It was a moment. You're banking a lifetime on a moment? No, I'm banking a moment on a moment. Get enough of those and that's a lifetime. You know nothing about each other. Did you think twice, Charlie? People meet randomly all the time at a, at a bar or... Online? Yeah, online at 7-Eleven. <laughs> uh, I mean, why is this any crazier? To state the obvious, you got married. Yeah, and... Now? We get to know each other. But not as man and wife? But no, that would be nuts. <laughs> Just for her. For me, it would be pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Historically, marriage was transactional. It was about expanding your empire. And a woman's value was based on what she brought. Like, you give me a heifer and I'll give you my daughter. Yeah. It's terrible, I know. That's, you know, I didn't come up with it. But it really was a business deal, and it wasn't designed to be about love, and maybe that's where people kind of get tripped up now. This is your second marriage, right, Charlie? You wouldn't want to fail again. Well, you haven't lived unless you fail, Bill. You should know that from your time at CNBC. <laughs> Listen, what we did was crazy. We know that. It was just truly a leap of faith. 
the rules as they exist pretty much suck for women. I mean, why do we have to wait for men to propose? Why is everything on his terms? No, I think it is time to shake things up. How about this? We pick the guy, we keep our name, and let him earn the right to stay. <laughs>